Hello, everyone. It's the Farm Sim Guy here. I hope you're all doing well today. We're back on Chilliwack, and we are going to be looking at how you can use auto drive and course play together. We're going to put the combine on course play in the field, and we're going to use the tractor on auto drive and the truck on auto drive to be able to deliver grain from the combine to the auger wagon, take that auger wagon to the truck, unload it into the truck, and when the truck is full, take that to an unload or a sell point, and then rinse and repeat it until the field is done. Now that might sound a little bit daunting, but let's work through it step by step, and by the end of it, you'll be doing this with no hassle at all. So first things first, what we want to do before we get the combine up and running is we want to set up our auto drive courses because these are critical. Um, I am going to just dump an unload point somewhere over here so that we can just tip into it straight away with no issues. So I will grab a silo, but obviously of course on your map you could that could be a sell point straight away or it can be a silo on your farm, wherever that may be. You can run your um, auto drive course wherever you like but for the for the purposes of this and making things nice and simple we'll just drop this over here somewhere we've got a little bit of a road here we'll just pop something just here i think there we go we'll just drop a silo somewhere like so perfect right let's head back and we'll sort the truck first so we're in the truck. This is the field we're going to be combining in front of us. It's a biggie. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the truck to a point at which it's in a good position where it can load and unload from the auger wagon. So let's just pop it here out of harm's way. It's far enough out with the field boundary that it's not going to cause any problems. Obviously the combines are going to cut around the headland straight away as well, so that won't be a problem. Now. I'm going to make the assumption, if you're watching this video, that you have already watched my auto drive for beginners video. I will put a link in the top corner, though, uh, but that gives you the basics of how to set up auto drive. This is not necessarily uh, how auto drive works tutorial. This is about how you use it specifically to collect from a combine. So let's pull up auto drive. Let's uh, turn on the edit function. And we're going to hit record. And the very first thing we're going to do, after I've gone into here and I've moved my line heights from ground to above tractor um, and turned off show next path, because that's rather annoying, and then go up here as well and knock my corner speed down to about 75%. That's always a little bit better. Um, we'll hit apply there. And remember, these are settings specific for each vehicle. So... Um, back to edit here, we are on record, we are going to give it a name and we're going to call it Truck Wait. There we go. And then we're going to drive off. Remember, we are in record mode here. And we're using a single directional course here, which is the green one. And we're basically going to drive over to our unload point, to our silo. Gonna get the truck lined up over the grate. Done a really bad job of that, to be honest. It should trigger it anyway. Now, what we need to do is roll past that. So, even though you see there the truck is way past that, we'll wait for the next uh, mark to pop up. Even though the truck is way, way past that, it will detect that and it will make sure that it um, stops over the grate that's one of the great things about auto drive i am slightly concerned i've hit that at an angle it's a just terrible that should be straighter than that but for the purposes of this i hope it will be okay um, i'm going to give this a name too and we're going to call this silo and load if i could spell there we go now we're still recording um, like I said, no airs and graces on this one, so we'll happily drive over this field. Normally you would make uh, more of an effort to make better courses, but 
This is purely for demo purposes here, and we're going to head all the way back down to truck weight. Down here. And it is as simple as that. Now, what we need to do is spin around slightly. We're going to click on our last node there. We're going to click on our first one there, and we have got a complete loop. Now, we turn off record. What we're going to do, we'll give that a little test. So let's send it to truck weight. Now, there's nothing in this, so it will run over the course. Um, there we go. Let's go to silo and load now. So it's always a good suggestion to just test your course. Make sure that it's working. Uh, it will tell you straight away if there's an error or there's a break in the course. Um, so hopefully this will line up properly. I'm going to just check that the hoppers are running over the grate. They look like they are. So I'm okay with that. But it will stop at silo one load here. Now, like I said, if there's grain in that, it would stop sooner. As soon as it detected the grate, it would stop. But that looks like we've got a legit working course. So we're going to run that again. And then we're going to set up the auger wagon. Right, we are in our auger wagon now. Just reverse backwards slightly. You can see the truck's just running. I left him running. We're going to move this into position. And you'll see now why you set the course up first for the truck. Because what we want to do is want to make sure that we align the auger pipe over the trailer like so. So what we're doing now is making sure that when we do our course for our tractor, we're not going to have any issues unloading. Just adjust the nozzle down there slightly so it's a bit better. But there we go. I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do here, I am going to pull up auto drive again. We're going to set up a slightly different course now. I'm going to hit the record button again. Now that's connected to that one because um, we had it set up to connect initially, but I've just clicked on one and clicked on the other and that's removed that. We're going to drive this forward and what we want to do here, same as we did with the uh, silo unload, we want the trigger or the stop point for this to be here. Now you'll see the auger pipe is way past the end of the truck here, but again, like we did with the grate on the silo over there, we want the auger wagon to drive in from this direction and as soon as it detects the truck it will start unloading and stop anyway. So let's call this auger unload. Okay, so there we go. Now all we're going to do with this is we're going to drive around here like so. We're avoiding the other course. We don't like crossing courses over unless we absolutely have to. But we're going to put this maybe somewhere like this, and we're going to call it Auger Wait. So this is where your Auger Wagon is going to wait for the Combine. And now, we'll just close this loop off, like so. Again, we're running close to the field here, but this will be gone because this is going to be the first bit of the field that the combine gets rid of. So you've always got to consider where things are going to be and if you're going to have any issues with things colliding. But we'll loop back round now. Now, we'll just run down here. Make sure you're aligned with the top of the truck. Not too close because you don't want things to crash into each other. But there you go. We are done. All we've got to do then is just click on here and click on here to connect them. And you are set. So let's stop recording there again. And now you want to go to your combine course, which is here. So there you go. You can see the little combine icon down there. And your start point for this is going to be auger weight. And your tip point is going to be auger unload. So you've set those perfectly. We'll go and change a couple of settings in here now as well. You can see, like I said before, 
Remember, these vehicle settings are independent for each other, so we want to drop this down to 75% probably. That's probably good. Unload fill level, we want to probably bump that up to 95%. Everything else we're going to leave for now. Now you can start to play around with things like field exit, particularly on bigger fields. Um, you can run a course around the edge of the field to help you get around. I'm not going to do that on this point. We're just going to let it run as it is and see what happens. Restrict Pathfinder to field. I like to turn that on. Keeps it on the field. Uh, restrict the unloader to the field as well. Yes, we can say that. Uh, and avoid the fruit. We want to leave that on as well. Now, that can be suspect sometimes with auto drive. We'll see how we get on with that. So uh, we'll hit apply there. And we are done. Now I'm going to leave the edit mode up for now. So you can see the two courses. Right, when we're happy, everything is good. We've got auger weight set. We've got auger unload set. We just hit the on button. You can see that folds up. And we should follow this. This should run all the way to auger weight and sit there. Now you can see underneath, no harvester with same target found. We are going to resolve that in just a little minute. But this should ro roll round now to this auger weight point. And it should sit and wait. There we go. Now the final step we need to do is make sure that our truck is set up to roll as well. Now our truck is in its truck weight point here. We need to click on here where we've got the road at the moment. We're going to go to the next icon, which is load and unload. So we're going to load at truck weight. We're going to unload at silo unload. And the crop we're going to unload is wheat. And there we go. Turned on, ready to go. The covers have come off. It's sitting with truck weight highlighted there. So that is good to go as well. It turns the engine off after a while. It's very economically sound. Saving, saving fuel. Right, let's jump into the combine. Right, here we are in the combine. As you can see, we have set the auger weight. This is key, this is key to the whole thing. Setting auger weight as your point because it's the same as the tractor basically that's in essence making the combine speak to the tractor so the tractor will know when the combine is getting full and the combine will call the tractor so that's the only thing you need to do you don't need to turn auto drive on at all you've just got to make sure that that waypoint is selected and is the same as the org wagon. let's say you want to do it with two combines and two auger wagons you can uh, set two different weight points and as long as they're connected as long as the combine and the tractor are on the same course you can um, let them unload each other right let's roll this to the edge of the field here we'll just get it in on the first headland like so there is some grain in this already just because i want to speed things up when we uh when we call the tractor and unload it so let's go in now and uh, set our course by course so there we go our combine is selected we're going to do create job course play field work the field has been selected here so we'll open our course generator um we're going to do two headlands we're going to start on the headlands and we're going to do lands again um i think that's everything we need to do so we'll just hit generate field work course it's done that we can come back out that looks like a very nice neat and tidy course out of here you can see your start point there we just need to we can switch this off just so you'll see the start and the end points there first waypoint selected let's go now i'll leave um i'll leave the edit courses up so you can see what's going on we probably don't need it for the uh auto drive but it's nice to see it there and uh, we will leave everything else up but we're basically going to go around now we're 54 percent full so we'll wait until we're a little bit more full um, and then we'll talk through things now a couple of settings here worth talking about as well if you go into this mode you can pre-call at 60 percent um so actually you'll just see there the auger pipe popping out because our combine has hit 60 percent and basically what that means is the tractor's already moving and he's going to track us now he's going to follow us now that was the default setting you can reduce that if it's a big field and he's got to make a, a long journey but um, in this case, he's pretty close to us. So he's just going to find himself a little bit of space to turn around. And he's going to sit behind the combine and he's going to follow us. 
So there we go. He's just sitting comfortably behind the combine here. Now the combine's hit 85% here. And you can see he's stopped and he's just waiting there. So he's going to spin around here. There should be enough space here for the tractor to come alongside. He might encroach slightly into the cornfield. Um, but we shall see. There is enough space here for the combine to run. So he's just reversing. He'll find himself... There we go. Combine is at 95%. So what the combine will do now is cut into the field to give a little bit more space for the tractor to come alongside. So he'll reverse up. And I'll put his auger pipe back in. And when it comes back out, that'll be the trigger for the tractor to move again. That's how auto drive and course play communicate when the auger pipe pops out. So there we go. He's sitting in his weight position now. The auger pipe will come out. There we go. And it should trigger the tractor to come alongside and unload now. Look, the cover's come off the tractor. Going to roll up and stop alongside. Tractor rolls into shot, and there he goes, unloading. Fantastic stuff. Now you can see he's unloaded there. He's reversing back out of the way as the combine puts its auger pipe back in. And the combine will cut back now into the field, like so, and go off again on its merry way. So we'll watch it again. We'll follow it again. I'm just going to close the course play hard now. We don't need that. Um, we'll let the combine fill up and we'll watch the tractor come from further back now so we'll wait for this to get 60% we'll speed it up when it gets to 60% we'll watch the tractor come back and trail us until we're ready to unload again so there we go we've hit 61% but if we look back over here you can see our tractor gunning it down the field to join us hopefully he'll get here in time before we get full and I'll unload again for the second time into the auger wagon. So really, once you've set this up, you need to do nothing other than sometimes just babysit it. I think on big wide fields, open fields like this with nice uh, amount of uh, space around them, you don't have too many problems in terms of uh, trees or things on the outside of the field potentially causing problems. So um, this is a, an ideal scenario. But look, we're, we're on 79, we're non, uh, nearly 80% here and the tractor's not arrived yet. So a good that's a good example of where you would maybe want to drop your pre-call level down from 60% to something a bit lower so that the uh, auger wagon is closer to the combine um, by the time it gets fuller. Um, this one might just work out nicely though. He's just sitting behind. He works out a little bit, moves, works out a little bit more, moves again. Um, but it is going to be pretty close, 90% now. So we'll wait for him to arrive. Oh, well, there we go. It's gone in again now because he knows he needs to stop and cut in again like he did last time. So the tractor will wait all the way down there until he's ready to cut in. So what we might do, once he's unloaded this time, we might drop it down to 30% for the pre-call level in auto drive on the combine. Remember, we're not turning this on. We're just changing the setting. In fact, we could do it now. Just go to pre-call. Let's set it to, let's set it to 40. That's probably enough. Um, like I said, we're not editing auto drive or turning auto drive on. We're literally just using that setting and we're using the waypoint. That's the same one as the tractor. He's just going to wait now for the tractor to move. And there goes the tractor moving. So there goes the tractor. He's just going to roll into space here. I'm just checking to see how much is in the tank now. Because we're doing the headline, he's cutting in here to give space to the tractor to pull alongside. Once we go onto the up and down rows, other than the first land where he'll have to go up the middle, and he may go all the way to the top of this field without needing an unload halfway through, um, the tractor will just run up alongside so let me just check in the tractor here how much we've got in here 68 69 percent are we going to get enough in here i think he'll probably 
wait for a small amount more from the next uh, combine load. Although we're up at nearly, oh, we're nearly up at 90% here. No, he's going to wait 84%. So there's definitely space for a little bit more in here. So he's reversing out of the way again, and the combine is going to roll forward. Now remember, we've set the pre-call this time to 40%. If I run along here and jump into the combine, getting a bit stuck on his swath there. If I jump into the combine now, again, we keep an eye on this. And when it hits 40%, I fully expect our tractor will start moving. Let's keep an eye on it. So here we are, 38%, 39%, 40%, and there we go. The pipe has come out at 40% now rather than 60%. And there goes our tractor right up in the top corner there. He's just moving towards us now. So we should get him a little bit closer this time, and we don't have to wait as long to unload. So... Again, we will run it again until the hopper is full. Okay, he's got to 95%. So he's going to call the tractor now. Which will roll along any second now. Now the tractor is almost full. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump out of the combine. Because it's on course play anyway. And we're going to jump into the tractor. Because I want to I show you what happens when... The auger wagon is full and how it automates with the truck for unloading. So there we go, it's going to roll into space now. Now you notice it didn't cut into the crop this time because it's got space to move. It's unloading now. And there we go, 89, 90, 91, all the way up to 100. So we're not going to get much out of the combine. So the combine may be sitting for a while waiting. But we are full here. And the combine's going to move off. Now I'm going to turn the auto drive course back on so you can see it. So he's waiting for room at the moment. Just letting the combine go far enough away that he can then move of his own accord without crashing into anything. So he's covered up. He will move. He's planning a path. But any second now, he's going to move. So here he goes, he's exiting the field now. He's going to try and find his way to the nearest point. So he's joined the course now, and he's going to head down to Orga Unload. And you can see that he's heading there because it's selected here, Orga Unload. So the cover comes off, the pipe comes out because he's, he's recognising the trucks there. The trigger kicks it in, but he folds it up again as he gets further away from the truck. But he's going to roll around here like so. And he's going to come alongside the truck. Now, this is a good example of why you move your unload point further ahead than the truck. Because look, he's found that the auger wagon will stop the moment it sees a trigger or, or crosses a trigger. So... In this instance, it's going to fill the rear hopper first. Now, I don't know if there's enough here to fill that entire rear hopper. Um, but once that rear hopper is filled, it will move to the middle hopper and then the front hopper. Like I think I've said already, much, much better at dealing with multi-hopper trailers than it was in FS19. So there we go, we're full. We're going to move to the middle hopper now. And continue to unload. There we go. And look, we've not even reached the auger unload point yet, so... Just goes to show you uh, how clever this is sometimes. So, we are done. Auger wagon is empty. He's going to head back to auger weight point. And as you can see, because we didn't have the ability to unload a lot from the combine last time, the combine is already full and waiting. But the moment he hits auger weight here, he will go back to the combine and start unloading again. There we go, straight away. There we go, just rolls over the combine there, and job done. So we'll get unloaded, and then the combine will move off again. There we go, combine unloaded. Tractor will just wait here until the combine calls again. So what we'll do, we'll run this on a time-lapse. Um, 
until we've got another full auger wagon and then I'm going to show you what happens when the full trailer uh, triggers. There we go, pretty slick. And now we've got ourselves sorted and are running smoothly. We unload on the fly as well, which is nice. So there's no downtime for the combine. So we'll just run this. This should fill right up now. And uh, then we'll be able to show you what happens when the truck is full. There we go, the combine's off to start the up and down rows. And the tractor is finding the auto drive course and it's off to auger unload so he'll roll around here again just like he did last time unload in the truck and we'll see him finish topping up the center hopper and then he'll roll to the front one so, there we go pipes open and roll forward he's going to skip that first one because he knows it's full now Stop at this trigger, unload the middle one, like so, and then the rest goes in here. Now, I'm not sure if the entire of the auger angle will go in here. I don't expect it will. So what we'll do, we'll very quickly jump into the truck and go for a ride in there. So I'm obviously not touching anything. This is switched on. You can see their truck weight. Now that truck is full. So it's moved to the auger unload point and the tractor has stopped because it still has grain in it and the truck is automatically moving away and heading towards silo unload. We'll roll around here. There's the silo over there. And he will unload three hoppers. And the same principle applies when a multiple hoppered trailer rolls over an unload point as well. It will sense when the first hopper hits the trigger and it will stop the trailer there until that one is unloaded so there you go first hopper unloading and when that's done it will roll forward slightly to the second one and then to the third there we go grain just coming out of there almost done there we go and we'll roll forward here's the next one very clever Right, we'll let him unload completely, and then we'll follow him back to his waypoint. There we go, last little bit in the third hopper, done. And there goes the truck. It'll roll around. There's the unload point again. He never even made it to silo unload, because the hoppers triggered it before he got there. So he's going to roll around here now, and head back to his waypoint, where... The tractor will unload whatever's left in the auger wagon. So there we go. It's rolling up, slowing down. And he will roll up to truck weight. Now, because the tractor's rolled forward and stopped at auger unload, this leftover grain that's in the uh, auger wagon at the moment will go in the first hopper. But when he comes back around the next time, it will be triggered by the third hopper and so on and so forth. But... That's pretty much it. We're done. This is just going to run happily all day long on its own. You can see the combine up there running the lands as well. So his pipe is always on the outside. And in fact, he's full. So the tractor will just spin right over there now and uh, go and collect him. There we go. He triggered on auger weight and he's gone straight away to the combine pipe. It's going to make route one down here and go and get it. So... There we go. It's rinse and repeat from here on in, guys. Um, if you've set everything up perfectly, it should just run like clockwork from now on. So, on that note, I will leave you to go and have a play with this by yourself. Happy uh, auto driving and course playing. And I look forward to hearing how you get on. There he is. He's just going to roll over and get lined up to unload. So, 
for now from me the farm sim guy thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again very soon take care bye for now